How y'all doing today? My name is Thomas Love, but you already knew that. Today we're going to be doing real estate photography in Photoshop and not in Lightroom. So we're going to come over here to Photoshop and click on 6810. And you'll notice that this picture does look pretty good. Um, it looks, just looks very plain. Now, I want more color, I want more vibrance, and I want to fix the levels. So let's fix the vibrance first and click on the three little tabs. And you'll see... And we're going to add an adjust clipping adju adjustment. There we go, right there. And we'll click on Vibrance. And let's try to work on the, we'll do the levels in a second. We'll click on the Vibrance first. And let's really saturate and turn up the color. There we go. Those look Now that looks like the outside. That looks like a springtime. That's what I want. That's a little much, but uh, there we go. I really want to break this, make it look like a summer or springtime. All right, there we go. I'm just using this for demonstrations, but that's good enough. All right. All right, and now... Let's come over here. All right, we can just, we can, yes. <laughs> let's clip on the, the clip, there we go. And let's go back over here to the three dots and let's add another clipping adjustment to, to the original um, picture. There we go, like that, come on, there we go. And let's fix the levels because we want the levels of the inside to be perfect. Now, if you notice the spike, that's where I want. Right, Photoshop will tell you where to go. So there we go, and there we go. Now, the outside and the inside don't look the way I want it. I'm just using the little eyes to click on and click off. Now, what I want is the the levels first and then see how I've got these and now I'm adjusting them to make sure they're in the right level, the right order. So now we come over here to the paintbrush and we're gonna click, we're gonna make it we've made a mask and we're gonna click right on the black and let's turn up our our paintbrush. I I'm, I'm trying to get a trying to see how big it was. Oh, there we go. Now let's just start painting the windows. Just paint, paint, paint away. This is where the pencil really shines. And we're going to paint all the glass. I want the levels to be omitted from this section. And I want the vibrance to flow through. And you'll see in a second, I, I kind of go over a little bit. I'm doing this a little rushed. All right, I go over the chair. All right, down this level, this paintbrush is way too big. But uh, I'm just going over the windows. I go over the small. I'm going to go over the door. Um, you can see it kind of masked over the front of the door a little bit. But there you go. All right. Now, now you can see I'll go back a little bit. See, I'm testing it exactly what I want. Now, what I want to do is this picture looks okay in the orientation, but I really want to make sure everything is perfect. So now I'm just double-checking because I can always make adjustments. All right, and let's come over here. I don't need to make another adjustment layer. No, but let's go over there. No, uh, no, we did that already. What I did was I clicked all three, and I, if you notice, I clicked all the layers. Now I'm going to scale it out, and I'm going to do the transform. Now I'm in the wrong tab here. You'll see in a second. I'm in the wrong section on the right, left-hand side. But uh, no, I don't want that. Uh, there we go. So I grabbed the wrong one again. You'll see a second. Oh, I screwed it up again. I'm like, nope, that's not what I want. You want to do the one just above it. No, now I realize what I've done. Now, you can see how I can just pull on the corners a little bit. And there we go. It looks much better. And perfect, right about there. Now that looks like the best picture. I'm pretty happy with that. And I click over done. And we're all set. All right. So this was the quick and dirty way. Uh, now we're going to go to export and how you export it. Well, I'm going to do a quick export, but uh, there's no reason to go any further. But uh, thank you guys very And you can go, and there we go, JPEG. You can export it as all, maximum quantity, <clears throat> standard, and you just hit export. All right. Thank you all very, very much, and uh, have a great day.